<laughs> well, you're not bad for a woman, but you're still no match for me. All of us of them come here and sign ya. As Ireland faces full European integration and generations of austerity to come, the Irish Daily Bull asks people around the world their thoughts on the continuing catastrophe that has haunted the former sovereign nation since 2008. There's no question that there are tens of thousands of people who are somehow impacted. Everyone from accountants, dental assistants, librarians, teachers. And they're willing to do anything and they still can't get hired. So as Irish people are forced abroad, onto the dole, or onto the streets, what do other people think about what's going on in the country that gave the world the Celtic Tiger, Guinness, the Jedward? They're starving, they're losing their apartments, they're losing their homes. It's just not right. I think more and more people are becoming aware that they need to prepare uh, due to the uh, economic conditions. Too often the government promises people things and then gives with the one hand and takes with the other hand. And as bondholders continue to enjoy the trappings of life while it's safe in the knowledge that governments the world over have got their backs, we asked documentary filmmaker John Kojo what Ireland should do next. How do people change the, the minds of their governments? Well, that's an age-old question. While the nation drowns in a sea of begrudgery, just what have the mainstream media been covering? I think the media wishes it was over because the whole story was that via NATO intervention, the NATO intervention. And what about homelessness, unemployment, poverty, addiction? Do any of these have a sustainable future in Ireland? It's a kind of semi-underground culture. It's not really, it doesn't really belong in the commercialised world in, the, in the, the way that we might expect it to. Has Ireland any hope left? Or does she go forth, protesting, drinking, watching Jeremy Kyle, or making pornos? Our intentions, we can directly influence our environment, our space. Finally, we caught up with Brian Ferry on his sold out Irish tour to ask his thoughts on recent bondholder payments. So that was a particularly good time. Ah!